I'm going to try and survive 24 hours inside of a literal hot box. But why, you ask? Well, a few weeks ago, I was contacted by a company called Icy Breeze, asking me to promote their portable AC unit. No, I like gadgets, so naturally, I was interested. However, the current weather in Oregon is... Less than ideal for air conditioning. More importantly, I don't want to promote a product that doesn't hold up to my ridiculous standards. So I told him I'd do it under three conditions. One, the hot box test, which is a room in my house full of space heaters. Two, if it does pass the test, they have to give away a free icy breeze to one of my subscribers. And three, if it doesn't pass the test, they be subjected to unimaginable embarrassment. Eh, I'm just kidding. So stick around to the end to see if it passes the test, and if so, for instructions on how to enter the giveaway. Step one was to purchase an army of space heaters. Step two was to wait for our guest of honor to arrive. Once it did, I began unboxing all of the contents and accessories. So it comes with a 12 volt power supply, but has optional accessories like an external battery, a USB charging port, a corded remote, a wall plug-in, and a dual AC kit to split the cooling. Last step was to set up our hotbox and set my happy butt directly in the middle of it. Whee! Now it's finally time to let our stress test begin. Okay, we are all set up. We've got our six space heaters evenly dispersed, got a case of water, we've got two thermometers, one for the room and one for me, and we've got our secret weapon. Not gonna lie, I am nervous. Not so much about the heat, but more so about the wattage. I am worried we're gonna blow a fuse. And to make things a little more difficult, I am actually gonna go the first hour without using the icy breeze. One last thing before we start, I wanna actually take my temperature so we have kind of a baseline. 97.3. That seems low, but I'm sure it'll go up! Drivers, start your engines. One hour in and I am sweating. It is absolutely miserable in here. Oh my god. 125, 20, 126 degrees. Let's take my temperature. <laughs> 101. All right, time for our secret weapon. Okay, I just turned it on. That's why it's a little loud in here, but I can immediately feel a difference. The current room temp has dropped to 89 degrees. Crazy. Let's check out my temp. Ninety. Whoa, that's colder than the average body. So this looks like a cooler, and when you open it up, it kind of is a cooler. Let me show you. Ice and water on the bottom and a series of fans and pumps bring that cold water into my face. Oh, I just had a brilliant idea. Looks like a cooler. It can act like a cooler. And just place a couple of these in there. Dual purpose. Got about 22 hours to go. Things are looking up. Let's just hope this thing doesn't uh, crap out. Okay, six hours in and the sun is starting to go down. Feeling pretty good. Only had to break containment once, drank a lot of water, and had to take a tinkle. When you gotta go, you gotta go. I will say, the room is starting to get a little bit warm. And I think I know why. My guess is the ice has started to melt. Let's take a look. And sure enough, yeah. But that's okay, because I've got a solution. It comes with a giant ice pack. Next update will be in a few hours when we are getting ready for bed. See you then. Update, it is currently almost 10 p.m. Bedtime, room temp is still hovering around 80. Went ahead and built a construction bed in here. Pretty comfy. And, fingers crossed, we get a decent nice sleep. So, good night. Good morning. Quite an eventful night last night. I woke up freezing cold. How is that possible? Well, after watching the tape, I discovered that in the middle of the night, our power shut down. Blew a breaker. However, that didn't stop the icy breeze. Why, you ask? This thing is also battery powered. So when the main power went out, that thing kept churning. Yeah. Also, to add to my frigid situation, before I went to bed, I hooked up this external hose that was pumping cold air directly into my sleeping area. Technically, we have about six hours left to go. However, considering I am kind of scared to risk another power debacle, I'd say our little friend here is undefeated. That's a wrap. Hooray! Would you believe it? It passed the test. 
As promised, Icy Breeze is gonna be giving away one unit to one of my subscribers. All you gotta do is make sure you're subscribed, like the video, and comment what you would use the Icy Breeze for. We'll be picking and reaching out to a winner in about one week. In the meantime, to check out more about the Icy Breeze, just tap the link in the description of the video. Till next time, peace out!